Hey guys, welcome to another video and thank you for joining me today. So in this video, we're going to be covering regex, what it is and how you can use it with your Google Search Console data to make it more powerful for you to get more insights. So let's quickly get started. What is regex? Regex is basically a string of queries that you can get, uh, create to get more information out of a subset of data. Uh, these are commands, these are things you can put together and you'll see in a moment how it works. Essentially, a lot of tools use regex. Um, you can use regex in different filters uh, across analytics, Google Search Console, other tools such as Screaming Frog, whole bunch. And there are certain limitations to regex based on what tool you use or um, things of that nature, but primarily in this video, we're going to be covering the basics. So super top level basics for you. Hopefully in the next 10 minutes, you'll learn something that you can apply, whether it's to your job, whether you work in digital marketing or SEO, or whether you're a website owner and you just want to get more information from your Google Search Console um, information that you currently have available. Another thing I would also consider is if you want to learn more, there are plenty of good um, information sources. I will definitely list a few of them in the description of this video. So first of all, you have to log into your Google Search Console account. Please note that the account I'm showing you on this screen is not related to myself and I do not control this data. This is mainly used for demonstrative purposes only. So let's continue. How would you go about using regex? You click the new drop down and you can see your query pages. These are the two most common errors, <clears throat> pardon me, that you would be using the regex uh, filter. So you can go on to query, for example, hit the drop down, go to custom regex, and then this is where you start. So you have two options either to incorporate a string that matches the regex or does not match the regex. So at this case, let's go matches. We're gonna learn our first um, command today or basically string that we can apply for regex. So we're gonna use this symbol, which is, I call it the arrow up, even though it's literally power of or um, power to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So what does this mean? So this means that any filter that's, I uh, mean, sorry, any query that starts with this, that's essential to means. So example, in this case, we're going to go into net, hit apply, and you're going to see that any query starts with the word internet will show up. So that's how that particular regex command works. So now we're going to go to, let's just say you want to finish off a query. So something that ends with, so you, you use the dollar signs. Times dollar sign apply. Boom. And if you scroll down, you can see plans, 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 plans. So those are two very valuable things that you've learned is how to isolate queries that start off with a command and that finish, I mean, sorry, um, you've learned a command that basically enables you to filter starts or ends with queries. So now we're going to go on to the next one. Let's just say you want to go internet plans or so you want to be able to filter a keyword set or query set that has both. So you'd go internet pipe plans. So what you're going to see is essentially your queries that contain the word internet, 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 or plans. And now if you'd want them together as a query that contains internet or plans, what you would do is go, we'll stop, asterisk, you would remove this. And now it's going to filter anything that has internet and plans together. For example, internet plans, internet plans, internet plans, etc. 
So if you want to essentially now have it where they're both, this should work. So you've got plans, internet plans, plans, internet plans, internet and plans. So as you can see, now it's not together and they contains a query that has both or one, but primarily in this case, all of them internet plan together. That's where it matches it. So another interesting thing you can do, which I think is really useful is if you want to look for long tail queries, for example, what you could do is hit square, hit example number 10, and oops, square again. So what does this mean? This essentially means that we're looking for queries that have 10 or more characters. So this could be useful for longer term queries. And that's really interesting from that perspective. So you can see it all here. If you want to group elements together, you can just use the word bracket. For example, you can go on look 10 bracket. Whoops. Here. Internet bracket. And then you'll have query that's 10 that contains internet. So 10, 10 characters or more that contains the internet, as you can see. So that's how you can group those elements together. Another thing that's really interesting is you can use it for intent related queries. So how would you be able to get that? So you can't get it just by doing a simple filter example, like what or how it really wouldn't work. So the only way to go about it would be to go custom regex. You have to put the pipe in between. And let's just say you want to go on to informational. So you would go Y type how type what, for example. And it filters through all your informational queries, which is great. Let's just say you want to go on to now purchase queries. So this could be someone that is basically on that level that wants to do a purchase. I think it's really interesting or in that very consideration set. So you go review, you could go verse, you could go buy, cheap, etc. Not really sure it's going to come up with this particular account. Oh, yep. So you got cheap, cheapest, cheap, etc. Just scroll down. Probably going to come with more cheap, 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 review, review, etc., etc. So those are very common things that you can do. I think that's really, really interesting. If you want to get an entire list, you can by clicking onto this. I'm going to add this in the section in the comments. Whole bunch of things you can do, as you can see here. You also have a tool that's available that you can test the regular expression queries. And also Google themselves have some more information about regular expressions here, everything that you want. It's all pretty much laid out. But it will give you more than enough. Another final thing that I'd strongly recommend you can do is you can go back. And you can do compare. Compare is really, really good. So example, if you want to compare non-brand versus brand, for example, in a top level perspective, what you could do, for example, you want to compare internet versus plan, or let's just assume in this case, it is brand versus non-brand. You've got my Republic, copy that, and it contains keywords, you go custom regects, but then you go, doesn't match. So now you've got the one that contains the brand and the one that doesn't contain a brand. Hit boom, you can compare, which is great. You can see at the top, your, your comparisons across all your key metrics. I think from a top level perspective, it's really useful and handy.
And that really concludes how to use regex from a very, very top level perspective. One other thing you can also do, as I mentioned before, is use it for URLs as well. So you can go close this off, you can go page. Let's just assume you want to look for, in this case, a page that contains the word fiber, because know that they have the word fiber. Boom. In the URL, apply. Let me see. Pages that all contain the word fiber. And then let's just assume you want to remove any URLs that contain the word fiber. Go back, go here. Doesn't match. Boom. And then you will have the filter changed again. So hopefully that helps and you've learned something that you can apply to your daily jobs or whether you're a webmaster and this is something that you just didn't know existed. Please learn more. There's plenty more that you can do here. I'm just really scratching the surface. So once again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye-bye.